we got to talk about one more thing before we go, though, and that is the Joker. Because I know you love the Joker. You just said earlier that you don't want to see the Joker in this movie at all because you hate all things Joker. You are, you don't even watch Joaquin Phoenix movies anymore. You're totally on a boycott of all things. So you're like, Road Trip was your favorite movie. Now you can't stand it because of the connection with the Joker. There are reports that, that this is being based off of several Batman comics and storylines. Mm-hmm. And one of them could see... Um, it, the, the long Halloween was always one that they were referring to, right? It was a long Halloween. We saw the first clips or pictures we saw from this were on Halloween. It was, it was a kid in a Superman shirt and a Flash shirt, I believe. So Halloween plays a part in it. I have read reports that it begins on Halloween as well. Uh, and in, in the cool. long Halloween, yeah, the long Halloween, there is a murderer who murders on holidays. I'm getting, and, and Batman has to speak to somebody who acts kind of like a Hannibal Lecter in that story. The Joker in this film, do you think the Joker could be playing that part of the Hannibal Lecter type who is helping the Batman, not helping, but is kind of assisting the Batman in his search for the Riddler? You know what? If that's the case, I'm 100% down for that, man. Because that is a way of putting the Joker into the story that's not the same thing we've seen 45 times. Um, you know, it, it's, I don't want to see another story of the Joker's like, I've got a bomb. <laughs> I like, I don't care. Like, I want to see it's, that. It's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> he has set off enough explosives. We are good. This is a way of giving all the Joker fans another Joker. Fine. But doing it in a way that's different and that's going to stand out and that nobody really expects um aside from you because you're the only person i've heard bring up this idea of the hannibal Lecter thing so i think that that's a beautiful way to do it that's how you take a character who is woefully overused and find a way to put him in and make it fresh that's how you do it so i say go for it could be a lot of fun it's also it's a way also where you have someone on the inside assisting but the but Batman clearly cannot trust what this person is saying whatsoever. Uh, so I really, really like it. I, I don't know if that's going to happen. I know, I think there will be someone on the inside that he does have to, that somebody gets some kind of assistance from, whether it's Joker or or not. I would love to see it be a character that we know, because this is supposedly like more of a, it's not Batman Begins, it's the Rogue Gallery Begins, and we're kind of seeing the mm-hmm. creation of the Riddler, we're seeing the creation of Catwoman, we're seeing Penguin become Penguin. Who else are we seeing um, become who they are about to become? And do the events, does the Riddler's action create some of these villains? Um, not firsthand, but because of that, it's kind of a snowball effect and creating other villains. And I think the Joker is just because he's so crazy and maniacal like he, he doesn't he doesn't think straight obviously and i think that's why people are drawn to him andrew because you can do whatever you want with the joker and his backstory could be whatever you want it to be there's no real joker backstory whereas everyone else there's kind of something and you know you got to worry about their names and stuff but the joker could be arthur fleck he could be uh what's his, jack napier he could be whatever he could be nobody he could be whatever you want him to be and that's what people find so intriguing and and if he's guiding And the idea of the Joker guiding Batman is also one that I think would be iconic for the fans, right? Because everybody, the end of the Snyder cut of of the Justice League, when they're together and you're like, oh, that's awesome. You want up that and you're like, well, now I have to go to my most feared foe to help me find my next most feared foe. What the hell is going on? This universe is crazy. Bring on a sequel. I will say also that email that I got, it did say that it ended with them wanting more but the more is going to have to wait because we're going to wrap it up right now. Andrew's got a lot of editing to do, and he's also uh, recording an Infinity Rewatch today that will go up sometime on this very channel. 